So this video I'm throwing in uh, just to show you the two basic types of uh, essentially what are two-step equations that have um, divide in them, just kind of as a differentiation. In this case, the only thing that's being divided is the 2, so you can treat it as normal. The 3 is the furthest away, so I'm going to subtract 3 to get rid of plus 3. Those cancel out, you end up with 5, and you bring down b over 2, or b divided by 2. In order to, to get rid of divide, you need to multiply, of course, so your final answer is b equals 10. You can test it. 10 divided by 2 is 5, plus 3 gives you 8. So that's one of the types that you could see that have divide in them. The other type is when an entire side is divided by a number, like this one. In this case, there's nothing I can do before I get rid of the divide by 2, because it's not just the k being divided by 2, all of it is. So it's almost like this is in parentheses, and I need to get that unit out first before I do anything else. So to get rid of divide by 4, I times bring down 4 plus k is an entire term and this is a plus minus relationship this says plus 4 minus 4 is 0 so your final answer here is that uh, k is equal to 0 you can test it 4 plus 0 divided by 2 4 divided by 2 2 so it says what it's supposed to be and it's true so just do that uh, one more I think like this and that's it I'm trying to speed through this one so you don't spend a lot of time looking at it. Uh, so in this case, I've got the whole thing divided by 20. I'm going to draw my line. I'm going to treat this like it's in parentheses in a way. Multiply by 20 on both sides. Negative 20. Uh, bring down negative 3 plus n. In this case, uh, I need to get rid of minus 3, so I add 3 to both sides. Now this plus is here, of course, but remember the sign in front is all that matters. The only thing that this sign acts as is a way to remind us that it's not multiply. So I'm going to add 3, and n is equal to negative 17. Can you test it? Absolutely. Negative 3 minus 17, or plus negative 17, which is the same thing, uh, will give you negative 20, and negative 20 divided by 20 is negative 1, so I've shown that it is n is equal to negative 17. So that's it.